Hello there and welcome to another Partners in Crime tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be learning how to make a cool 3D text stroke effect in Blender 3D. So, this is what you should get when you're finished with this tutorial. And now, let's get started. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to go into front view by pressing numpad 1 on your keyboard and then type control alt 0, numpad 0 on your keyboard. And then, you want to delete the default cube by typing X on your keyboard and clicking delete. And you want to add some text. So let's go into the top left of the screen here, click the create tab, and uh, scroll through here and click text. Now we'll rotate it so that it's facing us by typing R and then X and the 90 on our keyboard. And we'll press enter to confirm the rotation. So now that we have our text facing us, let's press tab to go into ed text edit mode, erase the text, and type your own custom text. And tab to exit text edit mode. And now that you've exited text edit mode, we can go into the right of the screen here and click the text object data tab. Scroll down and under paragraph and align, click center. And now the text is centered on the screen. So if we left click on this blue arrow and pull it down, we can pull our text more vertically centered. So we'll let go of left click and it looks pretty good. So now we're going to open a font that we have stored on our computer that we will include a download link for in the description of this video. So click this folder here and just direct Blender to wherever you've downloaded the font. Now for this tutorial we'll be using Varello Round. So we'll click that, click the font, and click open font. Now we're going to pay attention to the extrusion section. Let's click on the box there and put the extrusion value to 0.1. Scroll up to zoom in and put the bubble depth value up. 0.028. So that looks pretty good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to type shift D to duplicate this text. Right click to cancel the movement. And now what we're going to do is we're going to start creating the outline for the text. Now to do this, we're going to convert this duplicated text object to a uh, so a mesh object, so Alt C on your keyboard and then select mesh. And now we'll type Alt C and change it to a curve object. So now you can see it's an outline. So if we go Alt C and convert it back to a mesh object. We have the outline as a mesh object. And we can now press tab to go into edit mode and see all the vertices of our text object. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to reduce the number of vertices on each letters. So what we're going to do is type A on your keyboard and that just selects all and when you press spacebar that'll bring up a menu and then you type limited and select limited dissolve. So now you can see we reduced some of the vertices. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move any excess of vertices that might show up so let's press spacebar and uh, type remove and select remove doubles. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So it's removed 4034 extra vertices. So now we right click on one of the uh, letters here, hold down shift and right click another vertice on the letter. I'm using um, a scroll wheel to zoom in and out. And uh, with those two vertices selected, let's click select random. Let's put the percentage down. Looks pretty good. And put the random seed up. And uh, now we have each vertices. We have a few vertices on each text object selected. So now we're just going to get rid of those vertices. So type X on your keyboard. And once the style out pops up, select vertices. And scroll up to zoom in. Control Z. That just then did the deleting. Just making sure everything's set up. And type X to delete vertices. And press tab. Okay. So now that we are back into object mode, we can convert this back to a curve object. And we're going to add something for our outline to bevel to now. So type Shift A on your keyboard curve and select circle. Now I'll rotate this 90 degrees on the x axis by typing R and then X and then 90 on your keyboard and just press enter. 
can size this down by typing S and then type 0 0.01 and just type enter and then just type G and move this off to the side here. So now we're going to right click on our text outline and add a bevel object that is a Bezier circle. The circle that we've just sized down really small over there. And now you can see that if we adjust the start value or the end value, we're adjusting how this strokes along our text object. Now the text outline itself was pretty large, so what we're going to do is select the Bezier circle and just type S and we'll size it down by half, so S.5 and type enter and that looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do is right click back on our text outline, G, move that around to make sure that's selected and right click to cancel the movement. Okay, so that looks good. What we're going to do now is we're going to keyframe this. So at the uh, at frame one, we'll have the value set to one on the start and the end value. So I and then I, and then let's jump to frame eleven and pull the start value down to zero. And you can see that makes the text outline grow. Now let's pay attention to the end value, just that. So let's, at frame 7, put the end value to 1, hover your cursor over this box and type I, and then jump to a later frame, pull the end value down to 0, and type I. So that's the end value of 1 on frame 7, and 0 on frame 15. So let's rewind and play this to see how it looks. So now we have the text outline stroking around the text. Let's add in some other cool effects. So let's change the render engine to Blender Cycles. Go into the right of the screen here and add a new material in the material section. And now let's change the material type from surface from a diffuse material to emission. So that's just going to this is going to make a nice glowy outline here, a nice bright outline which will make glow in the compositor later. And let's right click on the text object, actual text, and uh, add a new material for it and make it a glossy material and put up the roughness. Scroll down to the amount. And now if we just take this lamp over here right click on it and then just left click to move that there change it to a sun lamp and type RY and just rotate it towards our text and left click that and you can now go into render view to see how our text looks so now you can see that we've got our text here and we've got a nice glossy-ish text here with a nice bright outline. So let's make the background black. So go into the world settings and pull the background to black. And you can see we want a little bit more lighting on our text. So with the lamp selected, let's rotate it a little bit. And you can see we get a little bit of lighting on our text. So left click to confirm that. And then go back into solid view. Okay, and uh, to make our glow in the compositor, we're going to put out the emission pass since our outline is an emission material, and then we'll just add it in with the glow to our original text in the compositor. So let's just click this render layers here, click passes, and check emission. And now we want to click render and render image. So let's jump into the compositor. while well, that's rendering. We can check use nodes and check backdrop and click add output viewer.
and uh, we'll wait for this to render. Let's put this down here so you can see the render result down here. So you can see the text and the outline. Okay, so now we can click Add Color Mix, hook that up there, and hook the emission pass out here to the bottom of the mix input. And if we switch this to Add, what this does is it adds in the emission pass with our original image. And if we hook the output here to the viewer, you can see we have a little bit of a brighter outline. And we're just going to add two glows in an RGB curves node. So click Add Filter Glare, hook this up here. Change this to fog glow and change the quality of high and threshold to zero. We'll just duplicate this over again. You can actually duplicate it three times over. And, uh, I mean, duplicate it so we have three fog glow nodes. And then that should give us a nice bright glow before we add in an RGB curves node, which will give the glow our color. So let's go into the blue levels and heighten them and the red levels and lower them. You can see we have a cool text outline effect that is animated. So we're pretty much finished with this tutorial. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you found it helpful, you can leave a like and a comment below. And follow us on our Twitter at the Criminal Adam. And you can also follow us on our Instagram at Partners in Crime GFX. And uh, yeah, if you found this tutorial helpful, you can subscribe for more tutorials from Partners in Coordinated Rendering of Ideas, Motion, and Effects.